the, the target was to, to reach production of 3 million barrels per day. This has, everybody is familiar with this. I'm sure Lupe, you know this. Uh, it's a story that people will say, oh, you have come back with your story for the industry. But it's not a story. By the 17th of April this year, to be precise, we reached a production of 2.49 million barrels per day. We didn't reach. But actually, if COVID-19 hasn't come, we we'll surely be celebrating that today because today we have clear visibility around what asset will produce the balance of that uh, 450,000 barrels per day that would have achieved anyway. It's very important for us to understand where we are today. But we're not giving up because of the market conditions that we may all be aware of. We are constrained by the OPEC plus alignment to cut production so that you don't produce water, you are looking for oil, not water. So when you make two million barrels per day and you sell it at uh, maybe ten dollars to the barrel, actually we have sold oil at nine dollars to the barrel in April, and practically we beg people to come and take. And in some jurisdictions, the United Kingdom are very informed. You may be aware that the Canadian uh, heavy oil people were paid a dollar to come and pick a barrel. So it's actually a reverse situation, and this has happened. And of course, understanding this means that uh, our current production level of 1.7, 1.6 is very understandable. That's not our capacity, but we know that we can, the 3 million barrels per day is within reach.